Formatting your Works Cited correctly is an important part of doing a Works Cited page. So today we're going to walk through the steps. The first thing to do is to make sure that you title your Works Cited so that you don't have another unnamed document floating around. Your teacher might have specific requirements about what you name it. The next part is to change your font. It needs to be Times New Roman, size 12. The next thing is to insert our header. So click on insert, page number and header, click on the first option, and then type in your last name, and don't forget your space in between your last name and your page number. If you're printing here at school, you're going to want to hit enter or return one time so that your name and page number doesn't get cut off in the printer. If you are attaching this to the end of a paper, make sure that you change this number to whatever page number it should be to match your paper. The next thing that we need to do is click out of our header and figure out our spacing. So click on the line spacing button and click on double. Then we'll align center and type in bibliography. After we have bibliography typed in, then we can hit return one time and go back to the left. Once we're here, we need to make sure that we set up our hanging indents. So to do that, grab this upside down triangle and drag it to 0.5. Once that's there, then grab the top little bar and drag that back to where the gray and the white meet or back to zero. Then we're ready to put in our first entry. Remember, your entries should be organized by alphabetical order. They shouldn't have any type of bullet point or number system going on. They should just be alphabetical order. So our first one is by Hilary Hansen, and we have our full citation here, but we have a couple of things that we need to tweak. The first thing that we need to do is fill this giant open space. Our URL is too long to fit completely on this line, so we need to break this URL up. So what we need to do is put, find a good place to put a space in so that part of the URL will end up up here. So to do that, click in your URL and hit the spacebar once. Then it'll break your URL so that it's going across two lines and we're using up our page. The second thing you need to do is click on the URL and hit remove. We need to remove the hyperlink or the blue font and underlining to make sure that we're not adding any kinds of extra punctuation. If you don't do that part, underlining is technically another form of punctuation and then you're incorrect. After this, you can add any other citations that you need to enter. Just double check that they're in alphabetical order and you're good to go.